Hello everyone. This is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. And this is going to be your daily tarot reading for July the 4th of 2019. This is for Thursday. This is for the collective. This is for all signs. For those of you that are celebrating the 4th of July, happy 4th of July to you. I'm using the Psychic Tarot today. Beautiful energies coming up here. The universe. Alright. I'm also pulling from the Spirit Animal Oracle. We have Pig Spirit. Use your mind wisely. Also using the Goddess Oracle. And I will be using the traditional Tarot. And I will be pulling several I Am Positive Art cards at the end of your reading. So we have Mother Earth here. I'll read that in just a moment. Right. Thank you, Spirit. What do we need to know today? This is uh, Thursday the 4th. We have the Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, Strength, Five of Swords, The Magician, Beautiful Nine of Cups, King of Cups, and the Moon. All right. All right, let's start with the major energies right here. We have the universe coming up here. Very powerful energy. This is this is all about completion, starting a new journey. There could be a sense of fulfillment here as well. Success, victory. I feel like for many there's a you're at a turning point in your life we have many turning points that take place you know milestones that take place in our lives I feel for many of you this is going to be a big one it's going to be one that you're going to remember it's going to play a big part this chapter that's starting in your life that's maybe a new path, a new journey, a new beginning and something that's going to be long lasting. It's one of those turning points where it could be a new career change, it could be a job, it could be moving to another state. That kind of energy. It's very powerful and it's very positive. The word fear 
is coming through right now. I feel like it's going to be very important for you not to fear the future. The future isn't set in stone. We're not meant to know everything. It's going to be very important to go with the ebb and flow. Believe in yourself. This is this is a turning point in your life that is destined. I believe that when we come here, we, you know, there's certain things that we have to accomplish or go through. But most of the, you know, most is it's we have free will in, okay? I feel like this is one of those things that we were destined to embark upon with this energy coming up here. And it's a beautiful energy. For some of you, I don't care if you're 40 or 50 or 60 years old. This is a turning point that this new beginning, it's going to make you feel. It's going to make you feel like this is what I've been missing all my life. That type of energy. It's pleasant. It's beautiful. Love it, you guys. Now we have the pig spirit coming up here. And what's interesting, uh, it does not surprise me at all that the five of swords made its way out. Uh, especially with use your mind wisely. There could be some disruption, maybe some disagreements for some of you that take place today. People may be wanting to get you in their arguments, you know. And I think this is going to be a day where... A lot of people in the States are getting together with friends and family for the 4th of July. And it's going to be very important to, you know, just if somebody's trying to get you involved in their BS, you know, just shrug it off if, if <laughs> need be. You know, don't let others, you, you know, negativity or lower vibration, vibrating energy bring you down, okay? And I feel like that's why this is coming up here. I think you guys pretty much know what I mean by that. Now we have Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. So this is beautiful and I also feel like this is so fitting coming out for this reading today. Like I said, for those of you that are in the state, uh, the states, the United States that are having and celebrating the 4th of July, be mindful of Mother Earth. Um, picking up after yourselves, you know, this is a time where a, there could be a lot of littering going on. Uh, I just feel like it's, it's a day to be very mindful of things like that. Some of you are being called in. You're being called in by your spirit guides, especially spirits telling me your animal spirit guides. So if some of you are wanting connect, to connect with an animal spirit guide, you know, that would be, a, you know, this is going to be a good time for you to do some meditation on that. Um, I, I feel for some of you that's coming through very strongly. You have animal spirit guides that are wanting to connect with you. And it's going to be able to help you with the environment, um, with nature, with, and also with grounding yourself. There could be opportunities here for you. All right, very positive message. Now, let's take a look at the tarot. We have the Ace of Wands, clarified by another one, the one in the Major Arcana, and we have the Magician. So the number 11 may mean something very significant to some of you. And we do have uh, number 47 here, which 4 plus 7 is 11 as well, so... Keep that in mind, 1111. Very spiritual. So the Ace of Wands is all about having that new beginning and a creative vision. Having a fresh idea. Maybe having a new adventure. And I feel like today will be adventurous for many. This is something that you're very excited about. This is something that brings you a lot of satisfaction. 
there's a lot of enthusiasm with this energy and I feel like you've been manifesting it something you've been planning especially with the magician here Gemini Virgo energy having that focused intention about your creative vision how to move forward You've been manifesting. You've used all the tools that are available to you. And you've just, you know, been using communication. Using that mind, intellect, energy as well. And being very focused on what it is that you truly want. And you're taking action on it. And I feel like you're starting to see the manifestation coming back to you. You're starting to see it. Now we have the Four of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Four of Cups is an energy of, you know, sometimes a, maybe a feeling of hesitation or maybe even a little bit of doubt. There may be a need for a time of introspection to go within and really maybe figure out what it is that you truly want to do. I feel like for many of you, you already know. But you see this cup that's being offered from these clouds right here. That's spirit offering you an opportunity. This could be a hidden blessing. You know, the way you're looking at it or seeing it right now, you may not see what's being offered. Because you've had other offers and you're not happy with them. This may feel like this is the same offer coming in. There's a need to make, really go within and take a look at it to make sure you don't miss something, okay? Because whatever the Spirit is offering you here, it's going to bring you this wish fulfillment. The emotional satisfaction. Happiness. This is something that you want, you've been wanting, you've been manifesting, and here it is. Spirit's bringing it to you. So there's a need to make sure that, don't second guess yourself if this is a job opportunity or a career change. And you're thinking in the back of your mind, oh, this is going to be just like the rest of them I had. I'm not interested in it. Make sure you put some more thought and time into it because there's something here something that is not seen it may require you to go within now we have strength clarified by the king of cups i love this uh, pair right here strength is the energy of leo this is all about you being very courageous having that self-confidence you're tapping into your own inner wisdom and strength. Most importantly, this represents making a dream come true. Now, we just talked about an offer that's being extended here from Spirit that's going to bring about this uh, wish fulfillment. This is about making a dream come true. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I love the King of Cups. This is a very, you know, powerful energy of having stability and control over your emotions. Being very generous. This is a very supportive energy. He's not like the Queen of Cups where emotions can run high. He has that balance that's needed to know what it is that he wants and how to make it happen. Now we have the Five of Swords clarified by the moon. Like I said, there could be some disagreements or maybe arguing going on today. Be mindful. You know, be mindful of how you want to 
use your energy. This is all about people having conflicting interest, you know, uh, disagreements. Sometimes things need to be said, but if somebody's just trying to get you caught up in their their stuff, and I really do feel like for many of you, this is what this is. This is like family gossip or uh, people getting together and maybe talking about others behind their back. I just, that's what I'm getting from spirit. Spirit's just saying, just use your mind wisely, your energy, you guys. You know what I mean. Now we have the moon. This is the energy of Pisces coming up here. Today is going to be very important that you listen to your intuition about using your mind wisely, about choosing your battles, okay? I don't feel like anything's hidden here. Oftentimes the moon can represent, you're, you don't see clearly along your path. I feel you do. It's going to be very important to listen to your dreams. There could be messages from you. I mean, from spirit coming to you. Excuse me. Signs, symbolism, synchronicities. If you're outside today, pay attention. Pay attention if you have a feather appear in front of you. Or see what kind of animals you might see today. That's different from your usual day. Look it up. I feel like there's messages. I don't feel like, like I said, I don't feel or see anything hidden from any of you. I feel like you, you know, your, your intuition is flowing freely. If nothing else, I feel like it's quite the opposite. I feel that, you know, with whatever you're manifesting here and this opportunity that's coming in from spirit that's going to offer some type of wish fulfillment, making a dream come true, you know, bring it into reality, where it was unclear before, you now see the light at the end of the tunnel here. Very powerful message. It's almost like having that aha moment. That epiphany. It's really nice, you guys. You're starting a new journey. There's excitement here, enthusiasm. This is one of those turning points in your life that's just golden, okay? Success and victory. Use, use your mind wisely and pick and choose your battles wisely, okay? Mother Earth is here. You are called upon to help the environmentalism. So keep that in mind. You have a creative vision. You're manifesting it. Don't doubt yourself. If something is offered to you or an opportunity, make sure you do some time of introspection so that you don't miss something. Because I feel like Spirit is offering you something it's going to bring in this wish fulfillment, emotional satisfaction. You have that inner wisdom and strength and that self-confidence to go after a dream, to make it a reality. Co-creating. Because you have balance within your emotions, within your feminine and masculinity. You have that self-control. Pick and choose your battles wisely, you guys. Today may be a day of synchronicity, symbolism, that aha moment. Things are looking up. You can see clearly now. Very nice. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay. I am open. Vulnerability is my strength, not my weakness. My openness attracts those who are beneficial to my highest good. When I lean into my feelings, I am honoring my truth. When I communicate my feelings in a loving way, I am speaking my truth. 
I am open. I am a creator. Everything around me began as a thought. My clothes, my home, and even the roads I drive on were once just thoughts. When I take the time to contemplate my surroundings, I grasp all of the thoughts that took place to create the world. Likewise, my thoughts have created things. My thoughts create my actions and thereby create my life as I know it. Therefore, I strive and I strive to think about my desires optimistically. I am a creator. Yes, you are. That's just further confirmation. Here's this creative vision. And here you are co-creating. Beautiful. All right. I love you guys. Those of you that are celebrating the 4th of July today, be safe. Have a good time. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And I, I thank you so much for being here along my journey, my path. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.